During the past year, I decided that I would make a habit out of reading. This came from a self-reflective realization that I was spending a lot of time consuming content, but I was doing it passively and wasn't really engaging with the content. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you the five books that I found to be particularly impactful and useful for me over the past year. So the first book that I'm gonna recommend is 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson. Uh, this was one that I read towards the start of 2021. So it was a, a long time ago when I read this, but as you can see, I made a lot of notes uh, and I found a lot of value from reading this book. You've probably already heard of Jordan Peterson. He's a, a clinical psychologist, um, a professor of psychology, an author, and a bit of an internet personality. He's got his own podcast. What I really, really like about the book is the fact that these rules that he sets out are seemingly obvious and blunt and, and stuff that society already largely accepts. Like, uh, for instance, one of the rules is tell the truth or at least don't lie. Or another one is make friends with people who want the best for you. These are things that we already know that we should do those things, but he goes so in depth on some of the, the reasons behind why the, those sort of rules are important. It's a really philosophical book. Um, there's a lot of uh, links to philosophy, psychology, uh, mythology, um, and sort of how they all connect to human nature, which I really, really liked. The only complaint that I would have with this book is that at some parts it kind of drags on a bit. Um, I don't think that that's a massive issue though. If you're willing to kind of take the advice that he gives and, and the reasons behind those, it'll definitely be a, uh, a worthwhile read. The next book I'm gonna recommend is The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. This is probably my favorite book that I read this year. I really took a lot of value from this. It's kind of a comprehensive but detailed guide on how to build long-term wealth, how to invest for the long-term, and basically how to be smart with your money uh, for people who's trying to, trying to build long-term uh, financial success. I would describe this book as a self-development book for personal finance, and I'd recommend it to absolutely anyone who's looking at starting a journey of investing or building wealth, or just trying to make the most out of their money. Uh, and even if you're not one of those people and you're already happy with the way that your uh, finances are, the ideas that Morgan Housel talks about uh, with wealth, risk, um, and the attitudes that people have towards money are really useful and valuable lessons that I think anybody could sort of take something away from this book. Now there are 20 chapters in this book. Each one kind of goes over a different lesson on how to build wealth. But not only that, they go into detail on how to protect your wealth and how to spend your money as well. And one of the biggest takeaways that I got from this book and, and one of my favorite lessons is the power that money gives us to take back our time. Uh, as, as Morgan Housel says, money's greatest intrinsic value, and this can't be overstated, is its ability to give control over your time. The psychology of money completely changed the way that I look at financial risk from something to completely avoid to something to embrace. And as Housel says throughout the book, with risk comes reward and with more time comes lower risk. And so one of the biggest lessons from this book is to invest for as long as possible so that you reduce the risk of volatile stocks and volatile markets. And you know, uses a lot of data to back up that, that sort of idea that if you invest for decades, you have got a pretty good chance of uh, building wealth from your initial investment and allowing compound interest to do its work. So one of the things that I've started doing after reading this book was invest in myself. And I'll quickly say that if you are interested in reading this book and invest in yourself, you can click the link in the description and that will allow you to sign up to trade stocks through free trades. Um, we, if you use that link, you'll get a free stock all the way up to 200 pounds. The third book I'm gonna recommend is dubbed by many to be one of the greatest books ever written, and that is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Now this book was initially written in around 170 AD by the uh, Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. And unlike pretty much every other book ever, this book was never meant to be published. Uh, this is actually just a collection of the notes that Marcus Aurelius would write to himself at the end of each day. Um, it delves into stoicism and self-reflection and uh, meditation and the philosophies that Marcus Aurelius would live by to try and be a better person day by day and deal with the stresses of um, his life and the role that he played uh, in society a, a lot better. 
What I find particularly fascinating about this book is that even though it was written in 170 AD, which is almost 2000 years ago, it still has relevance to the 21st century. And you can see how the struggles of a man to cope with life in his society are pretty similar to the, the struggles that a lot of people face um, today. Now, one recommendation I'd make is to get this translation by Gregory Hayes. And the reason I'd recommend this specific translation is that a lot of the um, parts of text in this book uh, is written in a modern vocabulary so you can kind of understand the ideas that Marcus Aurelius talked about a lot easier. Now the next two books that I'm going to recommend I didn't actually read physically, I listened to them in audiobook form, um, but they were still very very useful. Now the first of these two books is called Essentialism by Greg McCohen. Uh, and this is a book all about cutting down on distractions in life and cutting down on things that are not essential and prioritizing our time to the tasks and the projects that are most essential to us and most valuable to us. Essentialism basically means to put all of your energy and effort into one task and one project and say no to everything else. And unless there's something else that you are immediately enthusiastic and excited about, you should basically say no to that and focus on the one thing that is essential to you. Now I think that essentialism and this book in general can be summed up with the quote, essentialism is not about how to get more things done, it's about how to get the right things done. It doesn't mean just doing less for the sake of less either, it's about making the wisest possible investment of your time and energy in order to operate at our highest point of contribution by doing only what is essential. I really enjoyed this book and I found it super helpful but I do feel like the book isn't gonna be for everyone. Um, however, I do feel that there's something in the book that everybody could take something away from. Finally, I'd recommend the book Can't Hurt Me by ex-Navy SEAL David Goggins. It's an incredibly inspirational autobiography about how he turned his life from being depressed and overweight into a hardened Navy SEAL. And it talks about the importance of mental toughness, hard work, and self-discipline. Now, there's two reasons I'd recommend this book. The first is just because it's an unbelievably inspirational story and if you're interested in these sort of autobiographies and uh, memoirs of inspirational people, this is definitely one that you should read. But the second reason why I'd recommend this book is perhaps why most people are going to find value out of this book and why I found most value out of the book, which is that if you're someone who feels a bit too comfortable in your comfort zone or you want to push yourself a little bit more, this book will help you do that. It'll help you get back on track with your life and help you push yourself, not just physically, but mentally as well. And it does that through giving a lot of techniques that the military uses and that David Goggins uses to push himself to the extreme. One of these techniques that David Goggins talks about is the 40% rule, which states that when you feel like you've pushed yourself to the edge uh, of mental or physical tiredness, you've only actually used about 40% of your capabilities. And this mindset is really powerful. And if you try it yourself, and if you keep telling yourself, I've still got 60% left in the tank or 50% left in the tank, you can push yourself further than you thought you could have before. Now, I'd particularly recommend listening to the audiobook version uh, because at the end of each chapter and each section, uh, David Goggins and the narrator of the book, Adam Skolnick, they have kind of a podcast sort of format where they discuss the topics talked about in the previous chapter. But in general, this is just a great book to read because it's so beneficial, so valuable, and there's so many lessons in this book that I think a lot of people are gonna take uh, a lot of value from. So those are the five books that I'd recommend reading that I've read in the previous year. I'm now gonna give four recommendations for books which I'm hoping to read in 2022. The first of those is the one I've already started reading, which is Deep Work. Uh, by Cal Newport. Uh, the next one is The 4-Hour Workweek. The next one is one that I'm going to um, read throughout the year, so it's not going to be sort of a, uh, a single reading session, and that's The Daily Stoic. So every day there's um, a Stoic philosophy for you to kind of read and, and uh, meditate over, and that kind of comes from reading meditation. So once I started learning about Stoic philosophies, I want to kind of delve into those a bit more. And finally, it is Atomic Habits. I started reading this before, I gave up on it, but um, I don't really know why, but I'm gonna restart and kind of go back over some of those topics and start reading this again. So those are the extra books that I'd recommend. Um, 
purely from other recommendations that I've had from other people. So if you are interested in getting those books, those links will be in the description as well. But I hope you found this video useful. If you have, leave a like on the video. Also comment some recommendations for books down in the description because um, I'm gonna wanna read more than just these four books. I'm gonna wanna read a, a few more than this and I'd be open to any recommendations. But with that being said, that's the end of the video. I hope you found this useful and valuable. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.